Well, you asked and so you shall receive. You saw that Z1 Motorsports released their new coil packs for the VR30 and the VQ37 and you wanna know if they're worth buying? Well, watch this video and find out. I appreciate you guys asking my opinion, by the way. It means a lot. Now in typical watch before you buy fashion, what are they? What the hell are they supposed to do? And are they worth buying? Oh, I got brain freeze. Those McDonald's frappes are the bomb. All right, here we are under the hood of the car. Now in these newer cars, we do not see a traditional distributor. All right, so here's your distributor. Your cap and rotor is right here on top. These are your spark plug wires. Right, so what the heck is a coil pack? Well, we have spark plugs that run down here uh, along the cylinder heads. Now, if you watch my changing your spark plug video, you will have seen them firsthand. Here's sort of a, a closer look at one. There's a top of a coil pack right there obviously a v6 there's three on each side uh, and they just clip down on your spark plug so that's what sends the voltage to the spark plug and then causes the spark in the cylinder and the explosion internal combustion happens and your engine runs right so you need coil packs to the coil packs essentially replace those you know traditional distributors that, that we used to see with uh, the points on them and the wires running to each individual spark plug. Well, we don't have that anymore. We have coil packs, so that's what they are. Now, do you buy coil packs or do you buy upgraded coil packs in order to produce more power? No, not necessarily. But if you produce more power, do you upgrade your coil packs? Gen yeah, yeah. So you'll see on the Z1 Motorsports website that these new coil packs, the Z1 coil packs, produce significantly better spark. Now that's good news but again do you buy these in order to make more power I and mean, again no not necessarily now to the credit of z1 motorsports they're not trying to sell these coil packs as you know horsepower upgrades right they're not saying that hey buy these coil packs and you're going to make more power no and I, so i give credit to them they're not trying to sell them for something that they're not and in fact uh, z1 motorsports representative enthusiast pov actually said it really well in one of the facebook groups this weekend uh, and he said just that do these coil packs produce more power no not necessarily uh, but you might because what the coil packs do or the purpose of um, getting new coil packs or upgrading your coil packs it's, it allows your engine to maximize its efforts make its power production more efficient helps your engine reach its fullest potential it doesn't necessarily take it above and beyond what it's capable of but it helps it more efficiently reach those numbers could you potentially see better throttle response sure absolutely could you see better fuel mileage absolutely especially if you have a higher mile vehicle and uh, you have some crappy spark plugs or you know whatever the case may be a good combination of a nice set of plugs or new set of plugs and a good set of coil packs that, that could be all the difference in just your how the car runs on a daily basis not necessarily even in a performance or racing situation if you guys followed along on my bmw videos at all those n54s the 335i n54s in particular burn through spark plugs and burn through power, uh, coil packs like crazy especially if you're tuned and just one bad coil pack even one that's just down a little bit not it's not necessarily not working uh, but it's not working optimally it can make the car run like crap uh, misfires uh, boggy uh, no throttle response shuddering at under load you know coil packs are an important part of the system they supply the energy to the spark plugs allowing that spark to be produced which is what you know ignites the fuel and the oxygen mixture in your cylinders so they're vital and you need them you need you need quality ones at least high energy high output coil packs from z1 motorsports are about 400 bucks for the set of six and they claim to make about 17 percent stronger spark uh, which is significant over the oem coil packs again higher output so potentially better spark uh, more efficient burning in the cylinders uh, which could lead to better fuel efficiency uh, more efficient engine overall uh, it allows your gets it's going to help you get your car to reach its fullest potential um, and you know could give you some better throttle response so a lot of benefits here and to be fair a, a new set of oem coil packs will get you these same results especially if 
you have a higher mile vehicle where those coil packs hadn't been replaced ever or for a very long time. So what's the verdict here? What's all this jibber jabber about? Am I gonna buy these things? No, probably not. But it's not to say you shouldn't, right? I mean, this Q50's only got 60,000 miles or so. I recently changed the spark plugs and the car is running well. I don't really have a reason to buy new coil packs, let alone upgrade them. I wanna get this car to a point where it maybe needs new plugs again, another 15 or 20,000 miles, or you know, starting to feel a little bit sluggish, or I do some further upgrades and I, need, I feel like replacing the coil packs, sure, I'll just upgrade to these high energy, high output coil packs from Z1 Motorsports. Seems logical, but again, in a situation where the car's running seemingly fine, knock on wood, uh, and we have new plugs and throttle response is good, yada, 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 I'm not gonna replace them for no reason. Now, if you're planning on upgrading a bunch of things, you're gonna throw on a supercharger, uh, you're going to add nitrous, maybe you just have a higher mileage uh, G37 or Q50 or 370Z, whatever the case may be. Uh, you wanna change out the spark plugs, you're looking to do some modifications and you're gonna get the car tuned. You're already gonna be in there, sure. Swap out the coil packs for these, these uh, high energy Z1 coil packs. That makes perfect sense. I mean, in those scenarios in particular, they really make sense, right? You're going to potentially add more fuel, you're gonna add more air, uh, you're going to be making adjustments to the ignition system itself in terms of, uh, you know, timing adjustments and things of that nature through the turning, tuning process. So upgrading plugs, you know, one step colder maybe would be if you're going forced induction, two steps colder, whatever the case may be. Uh, and new coil packs, it's a good combination, to, again, to help your car reach its fullest potential. But you guys got to have reasonable expectations, and I'm sure that you do because you're all logical, reasonable people that subscribe to this channel, right? Okay, but seriously, uh, you know, if your car is tuned and you make 340 wheel horsepower and, you know, 280 foot pounds of torque or something like that, and then you swap in these Z1 coil packs, don't expect to make all of a sudden 350 horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque, right? It doesn't work like that. But will you see an uptick? Potentially. Uh, will you see no increase of power? Potentially. But that's not what these coil packs are for. That's not the point, right? They're, they serve a purpose and it's not necessarily horsepower gain, but making your car make, or allowing your car to make that horsepower more efficiently. And again, you can't complain about increased fuel economy and better throttle response, right? Just treat your baby right. We care about these cars. They're, our, they're like our children. You know, we put a lot of time and effort and money into these things. You want to you want to treat them right. You want to set them up for success. If you guys do go ahead and buy these coil packs, don't forget to get yourself a set of new spark plugs too. While you're in there, you might as well change them out. You got to take the throttle bodies off to get access to all six of them. So, you know, it's it's easy to do and check out my uh, spark plug changing video. It's not hard, very simple process. Um, but if you're in there, might as well just do it all. I'd of course be happy to do an installation video if Z1 wants to send me a set of these coil packs. I'd be totally game, you know, to do a little installation video and a little review. Could do a little bit of testing, some zero to 60 testing to see. And if in fact we, we can get a little bit faster with them, you know, I'm not opposed to that. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate the continued support. Hopefully this video was helpful in making, helping you make a decision on whether or not you want to pursue these high, up, high output, high energy coil packs from Z1 Motorsports. Not a bad buy. I think they're a good deal. They're a good deal. If you're going to swap them out, 400 bucks, not too bad. I think one individual OEM one was like a hundred dollars on the website. So you guys do the math. Thank you guys again for the continued support. I appreciate it very, very much. Good things that come for Speed Culture Studios. Onward and upward for us and onward and upward for you guys too. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.